Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve Steam error code 107, failed to load web page, unknown error. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be opening up a web browser here. And I'm going to have a link to a Steam server checking utility or website in the description of the video. So I want you guys to go ahead and search for it. So this is an unofficial Steam server status page. So if there's something going on in the world, you know, with the Steam connectivity, it should probably be displayed here. And if there's some issue up here, I'd recommend just giving it some time and then checking back on this page periodically and seeing if it resolves on its own, which more likely than not, it will. Again, assuming you already have internet access, and that's probably why you're coming across this issue, it has to do specifically with the Steam servers being down. So that's a consideration I want you guys to consider. So close out of here. And then if that ends up being the issue, then that's all you have to do. So there shouldn't have to be that much more to be said. However, if there is more, if it, the Steam server seems to still be active and fine, and maybe you check back on that page a couple minutes later, and they still say that the servers are active and there's no reported issues, something else we can try would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on it and then select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And into this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard, should come back with Windows IP configuration, to successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to go type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and restart your device. And then hopefully that should have resolved your issue. You can also open up Windows Firewall. So if you search for Windows Firewall here, and go ahead and open up Windows Defender Firewall. Select Allow an App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall over on the left, and then select the Change Settings button. Make sure the Steam item is checkmarked for private and public networks, and then you would select OK to save the change. And hopefully your issue should have been resolved. Again, the most likely scenario is that the Steam servers are having an issue, and you just will have to be patient and check back in a little bit. But anyway, that should have hopefully been a pretty straightforward process for you guys to follow. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a buzz able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.